Hello everyone, it is 6.30 uh, Eastern Standard Time. We are going to be starting up Pokemon Arceus really soon. This is a game that I've been looking forward to trying out. Um, <sighs> finally had some time to put some time into this. Um, so we're going to jump in in just a moment. Uh, so I need to... Let's see, so this is good, this is good. Yep, let's bring it up live. It should be on this screen. It is. We are good to go. Why do I want to slaughter? Jesus Christ. They go in the next door underneath the square vault. You can't figure it out off the way all right. I want English. Whatever you see now saving on the screen, your progress is being automatically saved. You can disable auto save and settings. They've been starting to do that lately. Okay. Welcome to my realm. Located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now I wish to know thine appearance. This is just how it talks. It's very reminiscent to um, the menus with a uh, persona. <laughs> it's like, I am thou, thou art I. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead, I guess this is the closest to me. What is thy name? Uh, bump up. There we go. It's going to do Ross. Yes, this is me. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Boss, or hero, protagonist, whatever you want to call, seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. And are we falling, or what's going on here? That's a phone. Yes, yeah, so I heard this is very, like, isekai. Like, somehow getting trapped in a fancy world from, like, a more modern take. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, my audio is really high. I apologize. Hold on. Bring that down. Testing, testing. Still seems loud. Wow. Just yell at me. <laughs> I am not yelling that. <laughs> Do wake up, won't you? <gasps> Cuties! Oh, my goodness. I already know who I'm choosing. All of them are good. I have the shock falling from the sky like that. Thank goodness you seem unharmed. Uh, oh, I'm actually speaking, in a way. Uh, where am I? Rayleigh Beach, of course. Dear me, did the shock of your fall somehow addle your memory? Let's say your clothing is 
unusual. You would not happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. Let's see, you seem to be a bit in, in a bit of a pickle. Might offer some directions. Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? No. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. You quite sure you'll be able to survive? Uh, somehow? What's with the Death Mountain situation? Let's see, well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. <laughs> it's a Rowlet and a Cyndaquil and a Piblo. No, Oshawott, excuse me. It's not a, uh... I thought it was Piplup for some reason in this game. It's not Piplup, it's, uh, Oshawott. It's the, uh, Otter Pokemon. Clish Clash. My, I'd completely forgotten. I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost that like they knew you'd appear here. Ah, uh, but do you know what a Pokemon is? Hi, what a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems you have some common we have some common ground. Yes, well these three Pokemon belong to me, mysterious creatures that they are. Oh yes, and what might your name be? <laughs> so you're called Ross. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologize, I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. It's Pokemon such as the three hit. <laughs> oh, blast and bother, my darling Pokemon! Why must you run away from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. <laughs> Wait, you three! I'm not gonna scream. Wait! Well, this doesn't look too terrible. Like, everybody keeps bashing it from what I hear online. I'm doing okay. What's this? What is that? Hello? There's a glowing, beeping object over there. You found something that resembles a phone. Probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel strange power emanating from it. Message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Okay. Well, this is actually quite lovely, in my opinion. For a Pokemon game, definitely as well. Alas, yet another miss. Aha! I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best. I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now that one is Rowlin. Well, it can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its shark feathers. <laughs> That's adorable. These are all some of the cutest Pokemon as well. That one over there is a Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. <clears throat> the Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott and Napsalal floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. <laughs> oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing, how to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my boy. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. Oh my, that is a lot of Pokeballs. A uh, mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary material. Oh, that's handy. 
Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one at the Pokemon, and... Why, the Pokemon shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. Now we've just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now the proper technique is to take aim of the Pokemon and let the ball fly. It's quite simple, though far be it for me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Okay, Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeball at them. Hold down the ZR. Okay, so back trigger. New Pokeball to take aim. You can keep moving around as you do so, so use the right stick to aim. Adjust your angle and aim. Uh, release the ZR to throw the Pokeball. If it's a Pokemon, you'll be able to catch it. If you've ready the Pokeball but do not want to throw it, press the B button to cancel the throw. Excellent. Where's the Cyndaquil? Mine. Got a Pokemon. Seems you've quite the knack of this Pokemon catching business. Jo jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Oh, so I have to catch all three. Okay. Uh... Where was Rowlet? Oshawa should have been by the water. I don't have a map or anything, do I? It bounces out of the water. Many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind, catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharper, shall we? Where was Rowlet? Is it here? Is that him? Yep. Gotcha. I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give another go. Uh, where'd you go? Rowlet? Rowlet? Well, thank you for running up to me for it. Awesome. You very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. See, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as they knew you'd come falling. What must say, Ross? I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Seek out all Pokemon. Hmm. Ah, uh, that object is an arc bone, you say. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in our region. But, in order to properly document Pokémon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokéballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokémon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokémon, and mine is to have all those Pokémon caught. Situation right for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another, my boy? <laughs> You've convinced me. Uh, then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. Uh, first things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. 
Uh, then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then. Onward to Jubilife Village. Oh, yeah, there was a Jubilife City in... Um, Diamond and Pearl, wasn't there? Seriously, what's with the Death Mountain? <sighs> Love the style. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him to the village for a bit. Those are some sideburns on that guy. This way, if you please. Jubilee Village it comes a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition Team. This road we're on now is known to locals as Canella Avenue. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There must... Well... And since we know so little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate to set foot outside... The... You speak way too quickly! Now that impressive building up ahead of this is the Galaxy Hall, headquarters for the... Even when I speak faster, it's too fast. Oh my. Oh, botheration, I've almost forgot. I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escape Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? Ooh, just past this building here and to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. Somehow it seems to show you where you need to go next. Use the minus button to view the map on your arc phone. You can consult the map for guidance so you can get to destinations. This is also see guidance markers when you're out exploring or running around the village. If you're not where you're sure where to go next, stop and look around in all directions to try and spot one of these markers. Okay. Well, that's handy. So, going here. Hello. Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? Hmm, the wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Who are you? Oh, I don't do female voices that well. Um, I've never seen anyone dressed like you, you are. But if you were attacked by a Pokemon, you'd be mincemeat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard, if the guard let you through, you must have ties with someone in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Laventon? He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him in times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. Supposedly, I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago and I had to take to my bed. Professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Fortunately, he's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. <laughs> I'm not screaming, Professor. <laughs> alright, but everything will be quite alright now. Ross here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. You plan to employ him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Celine's permission. <laughs> Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I'm the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Celine. Professor Laventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. 
Now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. You look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. Wow, that's kind of putting it. Yeah, we'll take we'll take my like mid teens to do like dangerous labor. You can simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. The most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. I get a Levi vibe from Celine. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation, then. Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never fail. Your potato mochi never fail to please. That still is correct. Professor Leventon, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Well, you know that great hole in the sky? The one people call the Space Time Rift? Our new fe friend fell right out of it. <laughs> you can't be serious. Come on. Come now. I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomenon. Concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. That there are in the grass and that there are in the grass and forest by water or wherever they like. Drop us a survey course to research them and find out what kinds of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Not always. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of ponderous things they can do. That's where Watts will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of feats such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three, we haven't had enough time catching even one when wild Pokemon come after us. To be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't, weren't on the attack. The key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on the Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rain and the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Ooh, what is on my shirt? I think it's just the yeah, design. Ah, <sighs> now have your fill. And think, if you make it into the Galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for its all its members' needs, even if said members fell from fell out of the sky. When do I get new duds? Uh, that was quite delicious. Quite delicious, indeed. A lot of dialogue so far. Uh, yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Ross has a trial to pass to join the survey corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in his skills. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Night, at least we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarter th quarters there. Nice little buildings. But if you fail to pass the trial, we put to you tomorrow you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. Wow, that's harsh. Definitely a Levi. Celine's often more like Hisui, and that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she'll, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. So, if you had chose a female character, would it be the other character, the a male for, version coming to help you? 
Earth and sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Which of the cervical cord has you been assigned? Okay. New hairstyle means a fresh outlook. A fresh outlook lets you change your fortunes. Clothing? Never seen clothes quite like yours, huh? Where might they be from? Okay, so I'm probably going to get to change my tire soon. Sleep until morning in the futon in your quarter. Oh, jeez, hi, there's stuff. Oh. It's a jug used to store for drinking water. It has a lid on top to keep debris from falling in it. Good. What are these? Checking survey tips. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help procure surveyor work in Hisui region. Read them any time. Simply press the up button to open the menu and then go to the help screen. Okay. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Mm, excuse me. To save your project, press the up button to open the menu, then scroll with the ZL or ZR until you reach the save screen. This is, there's also an autosave function you can use to have your card save automatically. You can enable or disable autosave by scrolling. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Just because. Awesome. Oh, that's a quick save. Alright, cool. Uh, anything else? Ah, very temperamental. Did. Very solid construction where extra sets of clothes can be kept. So when I get more clothes. Nice fire in the sunken hearth can help keep the entire room heated. Excellent. Uh, I guess I can upgrade stuff later? This one looks like you could store lots and lots of items in it. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead. Yes, please. Lightning! Space Lightning! The next day... Morning, are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? They have try, so uh, let's give it our all. Do I get a new set of... Attire? Lovely weather we've got. I hope you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Selene is waiting. Officers are here on the first floor. Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. I'm not yelling. Uh, Pokemon, they, they were everywhere. Attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner program, but it's the whole pack. Outnumbered. What happens when you go so far afield? But the medical corps you will put you to rights. That man's with the security corps, and even with his own partner, he took a beating from a bald Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Uh, Captain Selene, he's here. You may enter. Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the... Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Field, catching three different species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Okay. 
start. No one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that. Did the stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? Trial should be simple enough for him, if the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. Oh, it's an Abra! I didn't even notice you! Uh, the Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to say, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I'll lend you one of our Survey Corps satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. Cool, that's a start. Match your uh, mode of dress. I'll expect these to step in if anything goes awry. Galaxy team's first and for Galaxy's entry trial, excuse me. Activate guide. Guiding now active. Press the Y button while consoling the map on your art phone and you can check the tasks you have waiting. There are two types of missions. Two types, missions and requests. Missions must be completed and progress in your adventure, while requests are optional given by people you meet. Okay. So, story and side quests, which have never been in Pokemon games before. Pardon, Ross, come with me a moment. Now, then, jolly good morning to everyone. This is the matter, Professor Leventon. In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Ross mu absolutely must pass this trial. Professor Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help you accomplish that. Ross, pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are de very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Um, very simple for me. I want Cyndaquil. I love Cyndaquil. I, oh, I've ne almost never chosen Totodile or Chikorita in Silver and Gold. I just love Cyndaquil's, Cyndaquil so much. Yes. Come to me. He's so cute. Aw, he's so cute. Caught a pretty little beach for me. Will now be yours to keep. Good show. I'll I've tucked some cool back inside this pokeball for you. So take it. It's yours. Hi, Sandaquil. Awesome. Word of advice, my boy, pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Like if they're cheering on their friend Cyndaquil. Adele said it gets to help you with your trial. Well, B, they do, did go dashing from the village when Ross fell out of the sky after all. You too, I'll have you assist with me with my research for now. Okay. By the way, what species has Captain Selene charged you with catching? All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. We give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial. How many Pokeballs do I need? I have like 60 unless you took the other ones away. Work as a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. So Starly, Shinx, and Bidoof? About to leave the village for your trial, turn left after you exit headquarters, then head for the gate. Okay. Pardon? Over this way. Okay. What? I had 40 yesterday. Who are you? Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can tell, already tell you're quite the character. Says the person who almost looks like Link. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. Heard talk about you from from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tell I'd like to hear. <laughs> Always great when it. Just the one word after the... Oh, and you have a Pokemon. You're certainly full of surprises. 
Thus getting the odd and novel is key to any good merchant success, so what do you say? Thought you and I see how our Pokemon stand up and to one another in a battle. Sure. You better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial your attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Help you know if you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Okay, are there going to be just random trainers out in the field too? Oh my gosh, it's a Togepi! Don't really have much choice here. Ow, that was a critical hit. Battle decided. That was simple. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. Awesome. I can't even see like the level up bar. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Uh, Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and select the change move option. Few people have their own Pokemon, if only more knew how to use Pokeballs. Let me help our two battlers recover from the little exercise. It's amazing how the sound effects don't change. Present some potions and things. Thank you. A topical medicine is meant to be applied to a Pokemon. It can be used to restore 60 HP. Okay. Use them in your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful. It most certainly did. Hello, Rachel. How'd the rest of your stream go? <laughs> Be hoping that you're successful in that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. This game looks a lot better than I think people... <laughs> Hello, everyone. Can you catch Pokemon? You can lead them in battle. Now to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Uh, when you're leaving Jubilee Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map until rest the guardsmen where you're going. I was interested in that game, I just haven't gotten it yet. Um, it's kind of like an over-the-top hack-and-slash adventure, or... That way someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Oh, okay, so that's how they, like, keep you alive. Okay, and we will talk to you. In the form you'll be passing through. Trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Ah, I'm here. I need to go here, here. Wait. Is that right? Did I go to the right spot? Did I mess up already? This is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. It's a 2D ray. 2D action RPG was Zelda. Okay, so that's what I was seeing. I was seeing a little bit while I was playing Overwatch. Uh, some range. Well, yeah, you kind of need to have some range moves mixed in with um, hack and slash and stuff. Charlie must catch three species of Pokemon: Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. So a normal, a flying, and I believe an electric type. Do I get to keep those three, or are those going to the office? Uh, yeah. Oh, hello, Professor. Let's see. Ah, well, you see. Captain Selene got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for what happen happens to our sudden guest. 
That's our unsparing captain, but what help can, exactly can you offer out here, Professor? Honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Ross's talents are the real deal. He'll pass with flying. He'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. So the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me, then. Well, I'm sure Ross will be fine. Let's begin the trial. Okay, how do I do, like, stealth stuff? That's what I've been waiting for. Got to prep for a podcast, so I'll catch you later. Thank you so much for the thank you so much for the raid, Rachel. And heading this way. This is Aspiration Hill, the species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all of here. So, how is everyone else doing tonight? Okay, I see a Bidoof, and along comes a Bidoof. Time to get ready. So it's not going to probably just stand still. The key is to aim carefully, not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know, okay? Hold the Z button to focus on a wall Pokemon and keep it in your sights as long. Okay, so there's focus. Okay, good. Comes in very useful when aiming Pokeballs at a target or when dodging Pokemon attacks. Has a metal disposition, that means it tends not to run from people, so this will be easy. The Shinx, I have a feeling, is going to be the one that tries to, like, hit. Okay, so there's a Bidoof. One. Got it. Got a Bidoof. Well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. Starly and Shinx. Okay. Starly, they're skittish little things. They'll run if startled. You're so cute! But if you sh but you should be able to get close to them if you crouch, you'll be harder to spot. Is that like hitting press the B button not to crouch and make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you? Same button again to rise. Um, if you creep into tall grass while crouch low, you'll be even harder for a wild Pokemon to detect. Excellent. Okay, so the Starly is over there. I want to go. You don't see me. You don't see anything. Gotcha. Two. Got it. Only one more Pokemon to go. something I ought to teach you, since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. Captain Celine tells us, have an item at the ready but want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready but want to throw an item? Press X. Okay. Captain's a real expert on these things. Okay, so if I need to fight, try throwing the Pokeball at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. Pokemon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring them to you. That's helpful. Uh, we've reached your final hurdle, catching a sink, Shinx. Okay, so then... that, then aim. Oh, that's helpful. Okay. Oh, I do have them in my thing, my setup. Good. That's Shinx. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Disposition. Could you already tell that? More or less. Thought you might. I can never tell until I focus on a Pokemon carefully. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. See, 
can use the ZL button to focus on a Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be to catch. The more arrows you see pointing up above a Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch. An X icon will appear above a Pokemon if it has picked a fight. You be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Okay. Don't worry though, I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You gotta battle, battle them. Once they're absorbed with battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them to try and catch them. Now you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. Got no doubt you'll hold your own in battle. Uh, it's easier to start a Pokemon battle against a wild Pokemon. Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your Pokemon at it. If you can see that you currently have an re item ready to throw, not a Pokemon, press the X button. Okay. I see. Okay, that's kind of cool. Try Ember. Okay, and then if I use an item, Pokeball, use. Cool. Got a hint of fear and caught each one. I could give the sky drop to us. <laughs> With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as, we, as we've been ordered. Oh, I need to back up. Oh, that's better. This is wonderful. I'm still curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did, but for now, let's tell the Professor we're ready to head back. Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun running through. <laughs> I said you'd pass the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations. Taking your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we best report to Captain Celine. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? Do I have to go all the way back, or are you going to make me go back? Ah, good. In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you've caught to live in the village pastures. To six Pokemon with you into the field, in theory. Though, we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Now you two, let's not dilly-dally. Captain Selene awaits our reported headquarters. But Captain Selene will be very pleased. Which side are we on? Oh good, we are right here. I just want to see. Okay, so it's the same thing. Alright, cool. We'll go back here. Alright. The camera. Hello, ma'am, sir. I don't know. <laughs> it seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Wow. Congratulations. It's your trial, you can hold on to that satchel. Smith, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. A pair of Survey Corps sandals. Excellent. Use last night, then you're to report it once to the third floor. Okay. 
Commander, this is your first official order from your captain. Awesome. You're ready to get into your uniform. Make sure to use the mirror in your headquarters. Okay. Why does this keep... I've moved you down. Hello? Hello? Why did that shoot up again? Uh, this way. There we go. Change outfit. Yes, please. So, okay, your uniform and sandals. Uh, oh, there we go. I see. That's a little better, I think. Yes. You're a natural. Well, our you Survey Corps uniform suits you. So the captain had a tailored just for you. Regarding your com accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. I have a hat. Let's see. So, present yourself to the command. Definitely a Levi. Third floor. Hello, sir. Nice mustache. <laughs> I have been waiting for you. Oops. I am Commodore, Commodore of the Galaxy Expedition Team. I can't do that very well. So you are Ross. Hmm. You were briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Um... Hmm, you've got some fight in you. Sumo needs work, but I do see some potential. Every voice is the same voice for me in this game. I can't figure out who I want to do. <laughs> Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your rival as a portent of disaster. If you pass the tri trial that was put to you... Oh, excuse me. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the galaxy, work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokédex. But I warn you, Pokémon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Okay. Complete. accepted you. This. You begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Okay. Form well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you will move up through the ranks. See, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer toward that goal of yours. <sighs> to seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you will need this. Uh, you obtained a recipe for crafting Pokeballs. 
recipe for crafting Pokeballs from scratch, one Apricorn, and one Tubble Stone. A thousand as well. You will have to buy the necessary materials. Kari, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Of course. Now, as the experienced craft person here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands, of course. Uh, you can buy sign up some items at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. Even make our most valuable tools Pokeballs. Think where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the craft works. Okay. Well done, our new place in our team. My name is Anthe. I'm the local clothier. Professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. Everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. Okay. Feel the village up to the village's home shops. Uh, of course, once I can get a little more money. So I did the craft works. Use the workbench here at the Craftworks anytime you need to make an item in the village. Huh, interesting. That's simply what you need to make your first Pokeball once you're ready to begin. And I'll supply what you need to make. Call it my way of saying congratulations on joining us. Spend the money you got from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is best. Go to the workbench and choose an item to craft, in this case a Pokeball. At the village and the base camps to craft Pokeballs and other items. Crafting items requires a recipe and the necessary materials. Craft Pokeball. So I can do... I can do 20. Excellent. Alright. It's not it's simple. I to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench. Oh, you'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs you craft, we can make use of that Pokemon power to catch them. All so that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in the Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. I've received a Pokedex. Long for compiling the collected results of much Pokemon research, Professor Leventon continually adds to it with each report made on new Pokemon species. Uh, scene 7, 4 caught. Okay, open. Listen to Quill. Number caught, 1, times you've seen it use Ember. Oh, okay. Flame Wheel, times you've seen it use a strong style move. Agile style move. Hold on. Oh, that's right, I did see a Togepi. Okay. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there in this grand region. You'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokedex. Same goes for me, of course. I've also got Pokemon to research as a survey core member. Be all too happy to explain more about this research task I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the field camp, field land camps, whenever you are ready, my good Ross. Okay. Eggs. Bolregard. Okay, I couldn't help it over here. We're going to the field land camps. Would you mind taking care of a quest for me? Guard, so I can't leave my clothes, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. People who have something to ask will have a request icon displayed above them. If you fill the request, you may receive a nice reward. Well, yes. Talk. Hey, so there's this Pokemon called Wurmple. Have you heard of it? Yeah. 
see, I was having a chat with Professor Leviton, and he told me that after Pokemon certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change and its appearance becomes stronger. It's a phenomenon called evolution. Yes. Now to evolve, you'll be able to select the evolve option when viewing the Pokemon in your satchel. So I decided I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. Would you, if you catch a Wurmple, could you let me have it? Mm-hmm. Get a Wurmple. Okay. Hi, Toshi. Shinx ears had odd markings on the insides, but what were they? Oh, use. I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. To the front of the surface, though. If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I see one with my own eyes. Please. I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. Well, I have a Shinx. Don't I? I do. Here. Let's have a peek of these round ears. Got that yellow cross pattern on them. Kind of like a star. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and my bones of thought. So I'm going to get that bone out. Excellent. Oh, well, that's helpful, actually. Where am I? Oh my god, there's a lot of requests, actually. Hello. Let's see, you're the, that newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The Survey Corps must have to get out and about to compile that Pokedex. Book they're working on. Well, on your way, you could tell all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures, but when I see Starly, I simply whole. I feel simply whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see Starly's entry in that Pokedex the moment you've completed it. Oh, that's going to take a while, actually. Uh, Pokedex. Open. Starly. So, I need to... Okay, so I need to... Number of different forms you've obtained? Oh, a shiny! Okay, I'm guessing that's what that means. What's up? Nothing here. Okay. I heard my phone buzz. I thought it was a message. Okay. Uh, where am I going? Uh, this. That and Pokedex. What is what's like the draw icon? Hello? Someone. Okay, you have a request. Weasel. Can Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes? I know the professor said they do, but I have a hard time believing it unless I see different sized ones lined up side by side. Really, are Weasel bigger than mine? I'd love to see them alongside the one I have. Uh, for comparison's sake. Oh, you're cute. Your natural one comes to catching Pokemon, right? I bet you see where I'm going with this. Catch a weasel bigger than mine, would you let me have it? I'll make it worth your while. Big weasel, little weasel. Okay. Uh, not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Back, 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 back. Okay, um. Okay, go ahead and save. Ooh, 
where do I see like the mission stuff? That's kind of uh, oh, here we go. Uh, missions and requests. Here we go. Missions, uh, boost your tax up as opposed to the speak to the person a more. Head to the preceding field lands and speak with Professor Leventon about research tasks. Okay, so I need to talk to you. No, so is it only the other side? Alright. I could use a bike. <laughs> um, that looks like I need to train up some Pokemon as well. So if I talk to you... get to it then shall we in order to complete this pokedex of ours there are a great many research tasks i'll need you to help carry carry on my boy details of these tasks can be found in the pokedex for you to reference any time research tasks are tasks you need to carry out to complete the pokedex each pokemon species is a different number and variety of research tasks press the down button to open your pokedex then check what kinds of research tasks are available for the pokemon you've registered uh, when you focus on, focus on a wild Pokemon in the field using the LZ, ZL, you can also instantly check the research task for that species. Pressing the down button to open the Pokedex right to that page. Some Pokemon have some unusual research tasks, so be sure to check them out. Interesting. Catch and battle thy first Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your One last piece of advice, if you see a wild Pokemon attack coming from way, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge? Which will say, remember what I do so you can do it later. Dodge roll! We call it dodge. You can dodge out of the way of wild Pokemon attacks. That way, hopefully, you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. Security Corps had to collect me when I got the business end of some Shinx Thundershock. Don't worry, I've got lots of experience to draw on, and I'll teach you plenty. Can I do that in the city? Because that's a little faster. Share some survey core wisdom. Focus on Pokemon with a ZL, then press the down button to open the Pokedex. Tasks you have for that Pokemon. You have research tasks to do with limit how many you have caught. This one isn't enough. You'll need two, then four, then more and more. Okay. And when it's time to battle Pokemon, remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items, extra ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now if you want. I'll go on ahead. Uh, dude, number of heavy specimens you've caught. Number defeated. Number of different forms you've obtained. So is that shiny? Is that referring to shinies? Okay, so then if I focus and then throw. Oops, well I did need a fight, so that's good. I forgot that I had
Oh, so it's kind of like um, Sword and Shield. You get bonuses just for catching. Okay. So. You got it, but as a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on the Pokemon and check your research task for. Okay, I'm the Starly. You up ahead, come catch up once you finish the task. Ah, you got range. Right away. Okay. Where are you? Oh, sh I'm standing up. Well, I don't really want to. Oh wow, you get experience for attacking a tree? Where's my friend? Wow, okay, so there's a lot here. Let's see. Cool. That should help out with the Pokedex. Grit Dust. Times you've seen it, you... Oh, so it doesn't even have to be me. Okay, hold on. Let's see that. Pokedex. Open. Shinx. Times you've seen it, you... Times you defeated with ground type moves. Times you've seen it, you bite. A number of different forms you've obtained. Okay. Where is she? Oops. I didn't mean to attack it. Whoops. Where is... Is 
Should have Pokemon smash up and sparking rocks for you. We'll find tumble stones inside the same. Crap Pokemon. So wait, if I do this? Oh, it can mine. Interesting. Roll out. If it's fixated on using rollout. So how do I know if it's a bigger uh, weasel? Use. Got it. Cool, weasel. Cool. Where? Oh, there you are. Hi. You can find a Pokemon called Weasel. It's kind of aggressive. I just did that. I was looking for you. Hit you with its moves just like Shanks, and you need to battle to catch it. If you take too much damage in a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of the screen turn red. Damage goes away over time. You won't begin to recover if you're still being targeted by a wild Pokemon. If you take further damage at the, after the edges of the screen have turned red, you will become overwhelmed and black out. That's terrifying. Besides, you have to see it use the move in battle. That's right. Some tasks require battling. Go on ahead. You take care of some of the Weasel's research tasks and come talk to me. I already caught one. So what do we got as well? Pokedex. Uh, Weasel. Sorry. Wrong. Number of large specimens you've caught. Number defeated. Number you've defeated with electric types. Oh, okay, I could start that. Ah, okay, number of different forms. Even. Okay, so that has to mean shiny. Okay, so I need to bring out Shinx. Does Shinx have... Uh, how do I see, like, my Pokemon? Here we go. So it'll be this. Do you have... Check summary. Yep, you have Thundershock. Okay, good. So if we bring out Shinx against you... Wrong button, wrong button, need Shinx. Alright. Fight. Thundershock. Ow. Okay, so I gotta defeat it with electric type. Good. Okay. So, wait, where did you go? How do I know where you are? <gasps> A Wumple. Oops. OK. 
Okay. I feel like this is going. Oh. Okay. Damn it, I wanted to. Damn it, I messed that up. I wanted to sneak up on it. I like. I had to get used to switching between Pokemon and and then Starly. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Oh, there's two there. Oh, I love how they hop. That's adorable. Come on. Let me get to the other side without them seeing me. Cool. Oh. Nope. Okay. You can go. Ooh. Take that. It's no leak. Warmple. Yes. Okay. So that's a mission. Cool. Where did she go? Uh, let's see. Thank you. Where did she go? <gasps> Ponyta? I want a Ponyta. I want the Ponyta. Don't see me. Is there a Pokemon here? Oh wow, your pants do good. There's some graphical upgrades on this. No running for you. Cool. All right. Cool. Okay, so we got the tumble stone. Okay. Oh, 
Ah, so defeated, times you've seen it use umber, times you've given it food. I can give it food? How do I do that? No, I don't want that. I want him. That's my video for you. How do I call him back? Ah, uh, okay. <gasps> Whoa, what is, is that a Rapidash? Not what I wanted, not what I wanted, not what I wanted. Alpha Rapidat, oh boy. Okay, time to run. Uh, can I just run? Run away. So that was Fire Blast. I think I'm safe here. Uh, I don't have anything I can give to my Cyndaquil, do I? Uh... Mossberry, Burn. However, can be used to raise effort levels only up to three levels, however. Okay, um... I think I'm good. I need to heal... Where am I going? I'm lost. That way. I got all turned around. Alright. Excuse me, guys. Not here to fight. Not here to fight. I don't have anything to revive. Are you guys still chasing me? No. Okay. Already broke bows. Okay, so I can return to the base, and hopefully I can heal. I did update a few of the... Uh, To update a little bit of the Pokedex. Uh, well. All right. We'll say it's a. This is a actually a big area, much bigger than what I was expecting. I climb up this? Okay. 
Can I heal here? That's craft. Rest. Yay! Do not fight the Rapidash again. <laughs> Got Buzz. No. Okay. See, I don't have any ground types yet. Use Ember. Ow. Ow. What? The heck? Ow. Oh, okay. Oh, plus four others because I saw a quick attack and... Where did my teammate go? Roll out. Ow, these things hit hard. Comparison. Plus one other. Okay. Those are more shinks. Where did my teammate go? <laughs> In the face. Cool. I didn't know there was a... I can't tell a difference. Okay, so I'm finding a lot of tumble stones, but I'm not finding a lot of the... Oh, there's a berry tree. I saw where my team wing was before, but oh, there's the Rapidash again. Another choke. Okay. I don't know what that is. Thank you. I got plenty of tumble stones. I just need the uh, acorns or whatever they are. Caught six. Move mastered. New move. Okay, cool. Where is my teammate? Where's my teammate? Now, on the map, it's my map. Where's map? Uh, there we go. Uh, 
What is this? Oh, those are just places. Okay, uh, missions. Where? Turn on guidance. There we go. So I must have just ran right by her. Like that. Yep, not fighting you right now. I know where you are, at least, so that's cool. I'm going to need to train up a weasel to fight that, since I didn't choose a uh, Oshawott. There you are. I was looking for you. All for yourself. If you're a little reward for keeping up with me, your own crafting kit. Thank you. Kit containing everything you might need for crafting, even when there's no loss of the However, you can only use the materials you have in your satchel. In your satchel to craft items whenever or wherever you like. However, unlike at a workbench, you'll only be able to use what you just said. Recipe for potions. Thank you. Cool. Recipe for potions. One orange berry and one medicinal leaf. Easy. Crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using any materials you have in your satchel. So as long as you've got an apricorn and tumble stone, you can make a pokeball anytime. So where do I get... Do I, can I just throw it in any tree and I get one? Okay, so tell if there are tasks you finished and can report. Um, open. Those I can't do. I've seen that. Badoof. Let's get the Badoof that bothered the village. What? Alright, well, I have close. Starly. Number you've caught without being spotted. A lot. Seen it use bite. Forms. What? Wap a dash. Thank you. <laughs> uh, ponyta. Let's get an exciting of an unusual ponyta. Okay. Once you've got some research tasks good and done. Okay, so I need to focus on. Hold on. Uh, so I need to open my bag. No. Bag is this no. Back. Bag is it's here. It's been craft. Okay, so I need a lot of apricorns. Potions are Oh, you no, know I can use potion on you and you. All right, let's see. What's going on there? Oh, that's something pop up. Uh, something popped up, and I don't know what it was. Not important right now. Okay. Uh, oh, hi. Uh, hello. Pop up both in the face! I'll let you go. Uh, what do I need? Task with unreported data 32. Okay. Doof. Um, let's get it the doof that bothered the village method unknown. Okay, I don't know what exactly that entails. Alright. Okay, well, just caught a 
I can definitely give that guy one, so that's good. Uh, ooh, tree. Wait, there was a tree with red. Are those acorns? Up those little orn berries. Oh, it's not in the cup, shoot. I thought it was in the... Okay. Pulled. No. Pulled. Er. I thought it was in the. Where am I going? Thermal. I just throw you at this tree and you get an acorn or something? No? Okay. So it has to be specific trees. How do I get more acorns? Because I get a lot of orange berries. Twelve Pokeballs left. Let's see what's over here. So I found a Rapid Dash that is too powerful for me. really should go and switch out some of these Pokemon, because I want like a Buizel and even a Wurmple in my main party, so I can actually level up a team instead of a bunch of Bidoofs. Him. Crafting kit. You must have listened attentively to Curry's teachings. Excellent work, dear boy. Good time explaining to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. Submit survey reports. You will receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. You will receive more money if you fill certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. Check the research tasks you've completed thus far. Okay, should have. Yep, there's the pony death. Got 20, 20 or more Pokemon in one report. Okay. Different species caught six. Pokemon caught for the first time six. Pokemon caught using a backstrike two. Ooh. Okay, so that's how this works. Mm hmm I see. Most, most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. By carrying out research tasks and submitting survey reports, you'll raise the research levels of the Pokemon species you want to encounter. If you raise a Pokemon's entry level entry entry to level ten, that entry will be considered complete and you will have unlocked all the data detailed information to be had about that species. Carry out tasks and include the Pokedex entries for different species. You also gain Pokemon research points, which, can be, which you can view on the cover of your Pokedex. So you've earned a certain number of points, you'll be able to move up through the ranks of the Galaxy Expedition team. Okay. 
six, nine, five, six, two. Okay. Okay, I see. I see. Seven, three, one. Okay. One, three. Wait, how does that... Oh, one, two, one, two. So the second location is two points. You see the doof? Two, three, six. Well, no, because that would be... Tw I don't understand these number situations. One, two, three, five, seven, ten. Unless it's... Five, seven, three... Five, seven, no, because that would still... Make good progress on these research tasks. Do believe you're ready to. I do believe. Do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village. Hold on, I just I need to take care of something. <laughs>
All right. Uh, sorry about that. Crisis mostly averted. Uh, we have a dog with um, tummy issues, so uh, that's what has been going on right now. Uh, who has supplies? What are you? A photo last a lifetime? How about a... S oh, you're... That's cool. So you're the clother. Your haircuts. Your... Supplies? So, oh, I can just buy Pokeballs? Okay. Ooh, let me get like two of these. What is this? Cake lure base, a type of food provision that enhances the flavor of other foods that it's mixed with. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's my stuff, so if I want to sell stuff. Okay. I want to buy materials. I don't want to buy... And then... Ooh! Okay, what do we got? Remedy honey cake. Okay. Oh, powers from scratch. Oh, guards. Okay. And you sell materials, right? Oh, okay. Uh, that's Tumblestone. I have 28. So if I bought... Oh my god, if I bought 20 of these, this would be cheaper than going out and trying... Like, 20 Boca Balls would be 2,000. So then I can go here. Craft. Pokeball. Make 20. There we go. I'm all set. And I still have money. Oh, wait. I found you... A little bulwark card. Um, let's see. I have one that I'm training. The one that I'm not training, actually. Excuse me. Uh, level 3. Level 4. I won't give you the level 3. I'll give you the level 4. Who really bought me one? He must be as good as the rumors say. I'd like to name this Warpal right away. Now, I've been told the Warpal will evolve into a Pokemon known as a Beauty Fly, so I should give it a name that that in mind. Hmm, this is a tough decision. Who like best? Beautisha, Beautifred, or Beugeen? Um, I like Beautisha. Thundiverse beautiful life. Wait and see. Cool. Ooh, it got dazzling honey. Cool. Alright, so I can't do the one thing yet, but I can go in here. Hello? Are you guys fighting on the counter for no reason? Progress report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Back and back. Seems you have earned yourself a star. Excellent. So you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition team. I can now use Heavy Balls. Okay, Pokemon of up to level 20 will also obey your orders reliably. In fact, reliably. The rewards you earn from your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Have these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. Attained a recipe for crafting Heavy Balls. Excellent. One Apricorn and one Black Tombstone. Oh! So it's not just the Apricorn anymore. Okay, because it used to be like Black Apricorn. I can make revives. Uh, one vivid joke. I did find that, and I have plenty of leaks. Okay. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us. Testament. Okay. Let's see. Let's see.
All right, well, I'm going to finish this up and then probably end here. Too many things are happening right now. Uh, face value. Improving your growth by moving up through our ranks is something something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and if you did from this, fall from the sky, people may be will, more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. Higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. <clears throat> Excuse me. Need to work on research tasks. Cool. For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. So, Ross, my boy, we have a good, jolly good congratulations in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Potato mochi tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Still, we'll be very busy from now on between our survey core duties and requests from folks here. Reminds me, have you already taken on that request from Beauregard? But people of Jubilife aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see, so if problems arise, the survey core gets called to help. This is very reminiscent to, like, Attack on Titan Survey Corps. We don't know what this thing is. Let's send people out. Uh, some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, while others will need to be claimed for from the blackboard I keep in my lap. Oh, I need to go check that out. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a recent... Uh, a crust recently, Akari? What's it all about? I was thinking maybe Ross could handle it for me. Told... I was told it would require a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... Ah uh, yes, that request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. People of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui since before the Galaxy Team arrived. We've, if we could establish good relations, I'm sure there were as much we might learn from them, including more about the local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. The next day. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. Okay. Thank you. I've been waiting for you at the training grounds, then. If you've caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastures to change up your team. Where are the pastures? I definitely want to change up my team a little bit. Because I want, okay, so I don't want two Bidoofs, I don't want two Starlies, so I'll want to switch out, I want to put in a Wurmple, and I want to put in, ooh, wait, no, yeah, I want to put in a Wurmple and a Bweasel, where are the pastures, out there, must be out here, are these the pastures? Most of any Pokemon you catch, collect them from here to change up your party. Pokemon you'd like to leave here with me? Uh, this Bidoof. I want the Boisel. And let's take... Okay.
I have my new team set up. Not the button I wanted. We have our new team set up, so now we have a bunch of different types of Pokemon. We have Bug, we have Water, we have Electric, uh, Flying. We have a Normal until I can get something else. I would like to train the, on the Ponyta at one point just because of how I am. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for joining me for another stream with Rosquit. Uh, thank you, Rachel, for the raid. Um, and I didn't. I actually enjoy this. It's. A, I find it to be a well done game. It's a very interesting mechanic where it's actually you just run up and throw a Pokeball at a Pokemon. Now you don't have to actually battle every single one. So I'm going to continue this the next time. Uh, see how we go. I don't know when I'll have another time to do this one. Uh, thank you, and thank you, Jump and Shoot Gaming, for uh, following following the channel. Uh, we will continue, the, as I said, we'll continue this next time, and hopefully we will figure out the mystery of this game. Uh, also coming up will probably be, um, when I have more time, will be some more Throwback Thursday, more Demon Souls, more Hades. I have a bunch of games I want to play. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be very busy in my mind, even though I know I only have a certain amount of time to do stuff. So... Uh, thank you very much for joining me, and I hope to see you all in the next